Today's show is brought to you by Delicious Obsessions. Real food, real life, and real delicious. Deliciousobsessions.com. You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, which can be found on our website at treyerwilderness.com and also on iTunes. Welcome to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, where we are homesteading traditionally 100% off-grid today and offering preparedness and survival tips for tomorrow. Here's your host, Tammy Treyer. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm your host, Tammy Treyer, and I am just so excited to have you joining me today. I really... I'm fired up to share today's show with you. Uh, it's a little more on a personal level. There's no guest today. You're just stuck with me. <laughs> but I wanted to share some good news with you first. Our 2015 gift giving guide is on our website. It has been published. And I am just thrilled to offer it to you. We have some amazing uh, ideas in there for you this year. This is kind of like a recap of our year and um, the products we've used, the people we've connected with, and it has really been awing looking back and just seeing. And and also what's really amazing is um, I'm just very blessed. We have a lot of friends. We have a lot of... um, it's just nice when you can turn an acquaintance into a friend, and that's what we do a lot. And I'm just real excited about that. And I encourage you to check out the gift-giving guide. You can find it very simply by going to treyerwilderness.com slash giving guide. And that will be available um, till February 3rd. So it will be uh, out there for a good while for you to peruse and go back to. There are all kinds of special offers within and like I said really great products we uh, pride ourselves um, on the quality of products that we use here on our homestead and if something that we purchase or come across is not of quality I will not share it with you as or recommend it to you I should say I would mention to you that it may not be something worthy of your time But we focus heavily on using quality products, preferably products made in the United States. Also preferably um, from small ma and pa businesses because that's what we are. And we try to support our own. And we also try to support local. So it's really important that we do those things to help build our own economy. And it's also important that we use quality things because we all work excessively hard for our money and if we're going to spend it it should be on something that's going to last us that's one thing that really irritates us as a family is that things just are not made the way they used to be so when you find a quality product and a quality company it is something that i regard very high and especially when they offer customer service to back their products so Um, that is what you're going to find in our gift giving guide. That is what you're going to find on our website. If you find things on our sidebar, it's because they are of quality, whether it is a service they offer or whether it is a product they offer. Um, we value them or they wouldn't be on our website or in our gift giving guide or our resource pages. So I just want you to realize that. And it's also applies to my radio show. Uh, if you hear ads or, um, hear me mention something it's because I really back it and I really support it so um, trust in that and and I encourage you to check it out I'm real excited Uh, this last three weeks have just been uh, beyond amazing for me I'm just awed at the things that are happening on our homestead I'm awed at the experiences I've had and 
I just feel very blessed, as I said, by the friendships I have, the people I work with, and just the things that are transpiring on our Treyer Wilderness website as well as as a company or as a business. Um, we have a lot of awesome things coming up for the new year, and I am just beyond excited to share those with you. One of the things that will be out very soon is my book, How to Embrace an Off-Grid Lifestyle, which will really give you a good idea what off-grid living is like, what it means, uh, what is alternative energy, and how it can be used, and guidance on embracing such a lifestyle. Even if you don't want to go full-blown 100% off-grid, you may want to you know, incorporate some of the uh, alternative energy um, along with your grid power. Or you just might want to be knowledgeable on it in the event that you want to use it in the future. But we will provide in this book some of the hacks that we have used to um, provide us with better power and um, having to utilize the fuel as much for a generator and just basically to get our home running like a fine oiled machine. So, um, and, and just to give you an idea of what a, a, a day is like here on our homestead. So you will glean, I'm, I'm hoping, a lot of information from this book and I'm really excited to share it with you. It will also have um, a lot more um, in-depth story about us uh, that you can get a better handle on what it was like for us setting up our homestead um, and those sorts of things. Additionally, one of the biggest things I feel in life is that in order to be successful in anything, you need to have some form of organization. And that is what I find most of us are struggling with. We are trying to find a balance. We are trying to find uh, a way to declutter. We are trying to find a way to keep track of our schedule as well as our family's schedule. We're trying, some of us are running businesses and we're trying to keep track of that along with family and everything else. So it gets really cumbersome and it gets very overwhelming at times. And organization is something that I have been very good at and I enjoy being organized. Don't get me wrong, there are times that I'm not so organized, but I'm going to say, 95% of the time, I am pretty organized. And I want to share my knowledge with you and share with you some of the awesome ways I have found to really very simply keep myself organized and declutter my life. Um, and that's not just with stuff, that's with um, emotional stuff. You know, when you're disorganized, it really adds stress to your life. So I want to really share all that with you and I will be conducting a class in January. Um, be Getting organized in a crazy world is what the uh, class is going to be titled. And I am offering a pre-sales discount. It is in the gift guide and you can find information out on that, about that on our website. And uh, I encourage you to, to join me. It's going to be an inexpensive class and I feel that it is very worth your time and I feel that you will benefit from it greatly. And uh, it's not just for people with businesses, it's people that are just trying to get a handle on scheduling or being organized or decluttering. So, so definitely check it out. I encourage you to join me. I would love to have you. And uh, in addition to that, we will have a class on how to embrace an off-grid lifestyle that will go along with my book. And um, I will also have another class coming out uh, in the new year as well, um, titled, So You Want to Be a Writer. I would love to share my knowledge with you on how to embrace a writing career, whether it is writing for magazines, whether it is blogging, whether it is um, writing a book. And, and becoming an author, um, it's, it's such an amazing uh, and very fulfilling thing for me. And, you know, I know how long it took me to embrace that dream of wanting to write. And oftentimes it's just because we don't know what we need to do or how to, how, how to begin. And that's what this class is going to be for. It's going to give you the ins and outs of getting started and how to uh, really 
um, embrace it and it will provide a lot of different resources that are available to you already that you just may not be aware of. And I really look forward to sharing all this stuff with you. So stay tuned. I will certainly be talking about these things. Right now, we will just be doing the pre-sales on the getting organized in a crazy world and the class will start up in January. So uh, by purchasing the class now or gifting the class, um, it will get you in at a discounted rate and then um, you'll be notified in January of the details and login information and so forth so that you can participate in the class. So I'm real excited and I, like I said, I hope you'll join me. But those are just some examples of how we have been blessed lately. It is just, there is just stuff happening so fast that it has my head spinning and it's just, it's just amazing. I've been dreaming of being able to reach lots of people with our knowledge and our inspiration. You know, my big thing in life is that I, I want to lead by example. I don't feel like I'm a leader, but I want to lead by my example. I want to, um, I just love embracing life and I want to in inspire people to do the same, you know, find the positive in every situation. And sometimes it can be hard, but by doing that, it's just, it's just so, it's so gratifying and it is, it's very empowering because it turns your life into something very different. Uh, so many people get stuck in the negative and the humdrum and they just suffer through life. And I don't want to do that. So I want to, I want to be contagious in a very positive way. And, you know, I want to teach people how to love people around you, even when they're miserable, you know, life is short and how we react to the things that happen in our life are a choice. And all the choices we make honestly have an impact on not only our lives, but those around us. And it also has an impact on our health. And I can't express that enough because the more negative you are, the, the less healthy you're going to be. And it's a really, it's a true fact. So I just want to share that stuff with you because I'm, as we progress through this, um, show today, I'm going to share some things, some things at a very personal level, but I'm feeling very led to share these things. So I hope that I'm, I'm going to reach some of you today. I hope that, that you're going to see the power in what I have to share with you and also the benefits that I have to share with you. So we're going to take a short break to hear some words from our sponsors, and I'll be right back to share some more awesome things that are happening here for us. Stay tuned. The new Pioneer Magazine, taking the skills and techniques of yesteryears and combining it with solar, hydroponics, and various other advancements of today, creating the most robust pioneering magazine on the market. In addition to the new Pioneer Magazine, they also have available the American Frontiersman Magazine, taking you back to a more primitive time, and both magazines can be found at newpioneermag.com. Get your copies today and be prepared for tomorrow. Do you have a loved one, or are you suffering from celiac disease or a gluten intolerance? Trying to find that perfect flour? Whether you are baking cookies, flaky pie crust, or baking breads from scratch, or you are looking for a quick cake from a package, Look no further. Better Batter offers non-GMO gluten-free products with an assortment of packaged items as well as flour packaged in varying sizes, including their bulk sizes, perfect for those of you that are practicing your preparedness skills. Better Batter is not just another gluten-free flour. It's what you have been searching for. Visit betterbatter.org. Do you have your free digital subscription to Prepare Magazine yet? If not, then hurry over to preparemag.com and start getting each monthly issue sent directly to your inbox. It's easy. All you have to do is go to preparemag.com, enter your name and email address, and you're subscribed. Consider signing up for the premium membership for past issues and exclusive resources. You can even subscribe to the beautiful print version of Prepare Magazine. Visit preparemag.com and choose the option that's most valuable to you. Prepare Magazine, encouraging, empowering, and enriching your journey. Okay, we are back. We're just talking in the first half of the show about some of the things that are going to be available to you. And one of the things I wanted to remind you, if you're a new listener to my show, 
We have a weekly newsletter that goes out and we really cater to our newsletter subscribers and I would love to have you join me. You can uh, join at treyerwilderness.com slash newsletter. And um, additionally, I wanted to mention something to you since I was talking about organization and things. I want to give you guys a little tip on something you can check out to help really get you focused when you have projects. I am one who is always searching for good music to listen to while I'm writing. But I've found that when I write, I can't listen to stuff that has words. Like it has to just be musical compositions. Uh, and, and it has to be, it just depends on my mood, what, what works for the day. And I've, you know, tried Spotify and I've tried Pandora and I've tried tune in and I just couldn't find that right mix and that that right what I needed. Well, I found this really awesome app and online uh program that has really helped me a lot lately and I'm really enjoying it. I it's it's what I've been looking for. You can go to treyerwilderness.com slash focus at will f o c u s a t w i l l focus at will it is such a cool program they have so many different types of music you can choose and you can you know skip certain songs so that are you know um the, the music to if you not if it doesn't appeal to you you can skip it so next time it comes back around as an option they won't play it it also has a timer, which is huge. I don't know about you, but I really honestly despise Facebook because when I get on there, it is just so overwhelming. There's just so many distractions, and I, I feel like I'm chasing squirrels left and right. I get on there, and then I forget why I'm even there because there were so many other things. It's like total eye candy, and it's, it's not good when I'm trying to be productive. So you can set a timer to be able to do your work and what's nice is if I need to get on Facebook, I will just set the timer and when it goes off, I'm out of there. I really need to be deliberate in everything I do with my business and I have to be focused and I have to really, I need to be disciplined in what I'm doing. And that is why I feel this program is really awesome and I think it's a really great um, tool for those of you that need and are looking for something to really help you stay focused. It's a great way to do it. Now, to the good stuff. How many of you struggle at stepping out of your comfort zone? I, I, I can't fully raise my hand to that because I've always been an embracer. I've always been an adrenaline junkie. So stepping out of my comfort zone for me has always been like a wild ride. So I've enjoyed it. There are times though, like this past week, that I was, and, and it, there have been far and few between, I can't remember the last time I felt like this, but I was pushed way, way, way out of my comfort zone. Now, I want to share something with you, though, because because of that experience, I coined a quote that beauty and the best of life that life has to offer is at the other side of our comfort zones. Step out in faith. And that is so true. On the other side of our comfort zone is where we are supposed to be. It's the finer things in life that are being offered to us that we are too afraid to take the step to gain. And honestly, I don't want to miss those things. And I don't want to miss those opportunities. That's why I am an embracer. And although I was extremely pushed way, way, way out of my comfort zone. I loved it and I am so glad that I did it because in this particular instance, there has been a snowball effect. Like I said, this is kind of, this is, this is going to get personal. Um, you know, uh, this was awesome. My husband and I went out for an elk hunt. He has a, he had an archery tag here in Idaho and if you don't get anything during archery you have the opportunity to go out with your rifle after the rifle season is over the regular rifle season is over and you have five days to harvest an elk 
Now, we did not harvest an elk there. That was a little bit of a bummer, but it was an awesome trip. We went to the top of a very, very, very high mountain. It's extremely gorgeous up there. Uh, we love going up there, and it was just he and I, and of course, the day before we left, it's, we started to get our fall rains, which is a real drag out here. That's one thing I don't like about Idaho is that you've got your spring and your fall rains, and when they set in, Lord only knows how long they're going to stay, and it gets just very dreary, and I'm a sunshine girl. I know I've said that many times, so... It had rained, and we got to the top of this mountain, and the only way to get to the part where we wanted to set up camp was hiking down a very vertical slope. At the top of the mountain, you could not see the bottom, but I will tell you, it was at least a half a mile long. And when we started descending, it was wet, and it was also frost-covered. Now, let me paint another picture for you. I had a 65-pound bull pack on my back and the mountain man had over a hundred pounds on his and we were hiking down this this vertical slope that had nothing for us to hang on to it was it was something now I'm going to add a little bit of something else to this story on that personal note I have been having health struggles for the last three years um, on on determined health struggles and they have been um, getting worse and worse and worse. My health has been declining and about a week and a half before we left on this trip I started to experience extreme numbness in my hands and in my feet and tingling in my hands and feet um, and I went to pick up one of our canning jars that had oatmeal in it and there was barely anything left in the jar and I could not pick it up. Um, this is not, this is, this, that was very alarming to me. Um, I am an outdoor girl. I am, I am into fitness. I am into doing hard things. And it was very alarming not to be able to use my hands and to know that my feet were struggling too and weren't really cooperating the way they should. So, had I hiked this under different circumstances, I wouldn't probably have been as far out of my comfort zone. But being that I had no idea whether my hands or my feet were going to work properly on this whole trip was really, really scary. And um, I successfully made it to the bottom. And we went our way and got out there. And because of the weather and, and everything, it we got down there a little later than we had planned to and um, the mountain man wanted to try to get out but he was kind of torn because we needed to set up camp before it got dark so I set up camp and I told him to go do some scouting see what he could find because we really wanted an elk for our uh, freezer or for the shelf canning shelves so he went out and he saw a beautiful black bear he was so excited it was huge but it did not present itself in a in the right way that he had a good shot so he did not get that either, and honestly, we would have loved to have that. I would love to make um, lard from the bear fat and sausage, and I would love that hide and the claws. But on, a, on the same token, we were both really glad that we did not sh that he did not shoot that bear because let me tell you about our story going back up the mountain. You see, where we came down was the easiest way down that mountain. Everything all the way around where we were was worse and absolutely unhikable. So we had to go back up the way we came down. Now, we had a really nice dinner and we had a really good time and just were hanging out and we went to bed and it rained and snowed all night. So we woke up to snow. So when we had a hike back up that mountain, there was two to three inches of snow on that mountainside. Now, he did get me some sticks that I could use going up there and they certainly helped since there was nothing else to hang on to and you gotta realize when you're hiking a vertical slope and you've got 65 pounds hanging off your back and you lean just a little too far it's a really nerving feeling because momentum wants to pull you back 
And so you, so when you're hiking, you got to almost be ready to fall on your face so that you don't go back down the mountain. Now, the other thing is if I would have fallen on my face on this mountain, it was so slippery that I would have went to the bottom anyway. So it was it was something. And at one point he said to me, why are you making all those weird noises? I've never heard you making those noises. I said, well, guess what? You've never saw me scared to death. And I was. I was scared. It, you know, it was, it was nerving. Only, again, because I didn't know if my hands were going to keep working. And, and that was a concern because I needed my hands as much as I needed my feet to use those sticks to get me up that mountain because it was that slippery. You know, we were hiking on rocks and slippery uh, sticks and wet grass. I mean, it was just, it was something. So at that point when he told me about me, my, my noises and, and that, <laughs> you know, I gave it to God. And, I, and I'm like, you know what? You've got this. I know you do. And I know you're going to get us up to the top. And I know you're going to get us home safe. So, you know, I just stopped. I stopped thinking about it. And I just totally stepped out in faith when there was no ladder. And I got to the top. And it was just so liberating was so liberating. And like I said, I'm an adrenaline junkie. So when I got to the top, I was stoked because I did that in, in really um, uncertain circumstances. And I was proud of myself. And I was, I was excited that I was, you know, just gave it away and never even thought twice about it. And since then, and this is, you know, I realize that not all of you are Christian and not all of you believe in God. So please don't leave me today. Just stay with me because there's purpose in all of this. But that's where my quote comes in. Because I walked out on that slippery slope and there was no ladder below me. And after I did that, God really started opening doors, opening doors of all kinds to a degree that I have never, ever experienced in my life. And I know I have shared with you before some of the things that happened to us, some of the things that happened here. And it's wild. It's absolutely wild, the things that have happened here. But what has transpired here in the last three weeks has been utterly amazing and I have never in my life felt so close to God. And in addition to feeling close to God, one of my prayers has always been that he would speak to me. You know, I know so many people that say that, you know, he speaks, God speaks to them. Or, and it, it ma- mentions that so much in the Bible. And he's speaking to me to the point that I've been woken up two nights in a row, once at 4.15 in the morning and the other at 1.15 in the morning, and he just started dumping things into my head. Now, those of you that are believers, you will, you will get what I'm saying. Because what he put in my head allowed me to move forward in things that I was stuck on. In other cases, it gave me clarity. In other cases, it was miracles of information that he provided. Now, through all of this and through this time frame... I really believe that because I have totally stepped out, he is showing me more and he is helping me more. And I know he's going to shine through me in a lot of ways, especially with what I'm going to share with you next. As I stated for the last three years, I have been struggling with health issues and, and it's been very frustrating because I can't, and haven't been able to do all the things I enjoy doing. It's been frustrating because it has made me feel old and feeble. And I really feel for all of you with um, autoimmune diseases and uh, chronic illnesses. Because I know how you feel. I really, really know how you feel. Because I am a pusher and a go-getter. And I can't tell you how, for the last three years, I have pushed myself at least five days, if not more, out of seven to make it through my days with a smile on my face because that is how I'm determined to be. But by the end of the day, I was exhausted. I did not feel well. And I hurt all over. And by the grace of God, yesterday, 
I was given an answer on what is causing my struggles. And I am so elated and so blessed and so thankful that I have that answer because it was wearing on me in so many different ways. And I'm not out of the woods. This answer that I received means that I need to have surgery and go through um, expensive uh, procedures and, uh, and that to, uh, to heal my body. So I definitely am going to need your prayers. They would be very appreciated for myself and my family because it's going to be an interesting road for a little while. But God is good. And I really want to encourage you not only to step out of your comfort zone, because at the other side of your comfort zone is amazing things, but to embrace God and to see um, the miracles he offers. And if you're not a believer, just keep following me because I'm going to show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glorify him. He's going to be glorified through this situation. And um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm awed right now at just all the amazing things that have happened this week. And thankfully I have witnesses to all of it. Uh, but it's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. And, you know, I, I enjoy my walk. I enjoy my walk with God. I enjoy the walk I have chosen and the, and the person I choose to be and the people that are around me and my life. Our lifestyle is so wholesome. And through this situation also, I am learning how to remember to enjoy my life. Because for these last three years, because of not feeling well, I've had to push myself so much to accomplish things. And, and running home-based businesses and a radio show and a blog and writing articles and writing books and doing videos, you know, it's, it can be tiring and there's a lot to do. And through that process, I've somewhat lost myself in that, in that crazy mix because I forgot to take time for me and I forgot to remember to enjoy my life. So this is why I'm telling you this. Life is short and you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So, you know, make sure you tell the people around you that you love them every day. Make sure that you stop and spend time with them every day. And make sure that you learn how to put the priority in your home the way you should. God should always be first. And when you put God first, everything follows in suit behind it. And it's really important because I truly believe without him in my life, I would be nothing. And he has brought me to such an amazing place in my life. And I needed to share that with you today. So <laughs> I hope it wasn't too sappy for you. But that hike was absolutely amazing. And I encourage you not necessarily to climb vertical slopes that are a half mile long in the snow with 65 pounds on your back. But I encourage you to embrace those things that you want to do that you're afraid to try. If you want to crochet, learn how to crochet. If you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle, go for it. It's the, it is so much fun. Whatever you want to do, don't, don't forget to enjoy your life and don't forget to step out. And while I'm sharing this with you, something did pop in my mind and something that I desperately need to mention to you. For all you moms out there that are struggling in keeping the balance and um, with your, your life, your children, your family, and still trying to keep yourself in that mix and not lose yourself, I have something for you. And for all you moms of special needs children who are tired at the end of the day and just want to pull your hair out, who are struggling, and for all you moms that think you are the worst mom ever, how many of us go to bed at night and feel that way? I'm raising my hand. I've done it. 
Okay, I am participating in a really awesome program and I want you to join me and, and learn from these wonderful ladies that are involved in doing this summit with me. It is the Joyfully Empowered Summit. And you can go to, I'm um, sorry, joyfullyempowered.com slash TW and sign up. This will start on November 9th and it will be running until November 21st. My presentation will be available on the 14th and I will continue to remind you. But ladies, and for those of you that are Mr. Moms, don't hesitate to join us because this could pertain to you too. Because raising children is hard and raising children with special needs is even harder. But it's so gratifying. We just need to know how to find that mix and how not to forget ourselves in, in, the, in, in the journey. So please join me. It is joyfullyempowered.com slash TW. So join me, check it out, and I look forward to seeing you there. And again, remember to check out our giving guide the 2015 gift giving guide and you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash giving guide and check out all the things that are being offered. Don't forget to sign up for my organization class and um, get the pre-sale price on that and continue to, to uh, join me. We have some great guests coming up. Jessica Espinoza from Delicious Obsessions will be joining me next week and the following week we will have Rick Stone who is a master gardener and has awesome information to share. So be sure to join me and thank you again for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join me today and until our next show you guys take care and God bless. You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show where you will learn something new every week. We hope you enjoyed the show and encourage you to join us at TreyerWilderness.com and be sure to connect with us on iTunes. Remember, your reviews on iTunes are very important to us and help us reach more people just like you.